Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we shall learn construction 11.6, standard 9th, chapter number 11, constructions, subject mathematics. Construction 11.6 is how to construct a triangle given its perimeter and its two base angles. So for this construction 11.6, I have taken one example. Construct a triangle XKN in which angle X is equal to 90 degree and angle K is equal to 60 degree and Xn plus Nk plus Kx is equal to 13 centimeter. Two base angles. So these are the two base angles. Angle X is equal to 90 degree and angle K is equal to 60 degree. And perimeter is Xn plus Nk plus Kx is equal to 13 centimeter. So for this, let us draw one rough sketch here. Let me draw right angle triangle here. Why? Because angle X is equal to 90 degree. So this is X is equal to 90 degree. And angle K is equal to 60 degree. So this is 60 degree. This is K. These two angles are angle X and angle K are base angles. This is N and this triangle is X K N. So try to understand the meaning of this word perimeter. So perimeter means what? The total length of these three sides. This is the first side NX, second side is NK and third side is XK. Let us consider this distance as XN is 5 cm. This distance is 6 cm. And this distance is 2 cm. So if we add these three sides now, 5 plus 6 is 11 and 11 plus 2 is 13. So this is the meaning of total length of these three sides is 13 cm. This distance 5 cm, 6 cm and 2 cm are not accurate distance. To understand this concept perimeter, I have taken this distance. I will get the accurate distance for this side NX, NK and KX when I will draw original construction here. Now let me rub this distance 5 cm, 6 cm and 2 cm. First step for this construction is we have to draw a line segment of distance 13 cm. So this is 0 and this is 13. Then you have to join these two points and you have to mark this point as A and B and this distance is 13 cm. So while writing this alphabetic letter I have written A and B. You must avoid these three alphabetic letters to write here. You can write any alphabetic letter excluding this X, K, N. Say for example I have written A and B. You all can write C, D. If it is triangle A, B, C is given. Avoid writing here A, B or A, C. You can write other alphabetic letters. Say for example X, Z or Z, X, M, O like this alphabetic letters. So next step is you have to consider this angle X is equal to 90 degree. So here at point A you have to construct an angle of 90 degree like this. With same distance here you have to mark one more arc like this. Do not change the distance. Then one more arc so this is 90 degree similarly you have to construct this 60 degree at point B like this you can choose any distance like this and draw one arc like this then this point you have to draw one more arc with same distance do not change the distance so this is 60 degree then you have to draw one ray like this let us give name for this ray is AC 
and for this ray is BD. We write this angle A is equal to 90 degree and this angle B is equal to 60 degree. Next step is you have to bisect this 90 degree. So what is the meaning of bisect here? Meaning of bisect is to divide into two equal parts. So what you have to divide here? This 90 degrees if you divide by 2 no you will get the answer 45 degree. So to get the 45 degree you have to choose the distance from this point and this point. So like this. This is complete 90 degree. So from this point you have to mark one arc like this. With same distance you have to mark one more arc like this. So you will get the 45 degree. So this distance is 45 degree. Now here also this 60 degree you have to bisect. So to get 30 degree. So this distance you have to choose. So you have to mark one arc like this. With same distance you have to mark another arc like this. Now you have to draw one ray like this. Let us mark this point as E and this is ray EB and this is ray is F F A both this bisector bisector A F and bisector B E should meet here and this point you have to write this N here. So this is the first point of this triangle N X K. These base angles you will get here. Next step is you have to draw perpendicular bisector of these two points A N. Do not take the distance of A F. You have to take the distance of A N. While drawing perpendicular bisector you have to take the distance of more than half of this A N. So this is the more than half distance. So you have to draw four arc. So this is the first arc. So this is the second arc with same distance at point N. You have to draw third arc like this and this is the fourth arc. Then you have to join these points. Let us give name for this perpendicular bust here. Let me take O and here Z. Lally, you have to take the perpendicular bisector of this B N, not B E. So for this, you have to choose this distance. This is the full distance of B N, and you have to take the distance of more than half of this B N, like this. So from this point B, you have to draw one arc like this. So this is the first arc. So this is the second arc with same distance at point N not E. So you have to one draw one arc like this and this is the fourth arc. Then you have to join these two points like this. So let us give name for this perpendicular bisector as any alphabetic letters other than this X, K, N. Let me give here L and S. So this is a perpendicular bisector S, L. O, Z is intersecting here. So this is the intersecting point. And you have to write this angle X here. And you have to join these two points N and X. Second perpendicular bisector is SL and this SL is intersecting here. So this is the point of intersecting and you have to write this K here. Then you have to join these two points N and K. So this is the required triangle NXK. So this angle I should get 90 degree. 
एंड दिस एंगल के आई शुड गेट सिक्सटी डिग्री सो लेट अस वेरीफाई यूजिंग प्रोटेक्टर इयर so exactly i am getting this angle x is equal to 90 degree this is correct and angle k also i am getting exactly 60 degree so this is the required triangle n x k so these are the two base angles angle x is equal to 90 degree and angle k is equal to 60 degree so i have verified this angle x is equal to 90 degree and angle k is equal to 60 degree by using protractor now let us verify these three sides let us first measure this nx distance so nx i am getting here 4.8 so this is 4.8 cm so let me write here x and distance is 4.8 cm so next side nk this nk is 5.5 5.5 cm so nk is 5.5 cm and let us verify this xk i am getting exactly 2.7 so this is 2.7 cm so this is 2. 7 cm so this is 4.8 cm this is 5.5 cm and this is 2.7 cm so if we add this 4.8 5.5 2.7 i will get the answer 13 cm so this is the accurate distance i have got let us see the steps of this construction so first step is Draw a line segment AB is equal to thirteen centimeter. So this is AB is equal to thirteen centimeter. Second step is construct an angle of ninety degree at point E. So at point E you have to construct an angle of ninety degree. To construct this ninety degree, either you can use compass or protractor. So I have used here compass. So while constructing, you have to keep compass at point E, and you can choose any distance. so i have taken this distance and draw one arc like this then second you have to keep compass here at this point with same distance do not change the distance draw one more arc like this with same distance at this point you have to mark one arc like this with same distance you have to mark one more arc here from these points with same distance you have to draw one arc like this then you have to join this ray you will get the 90 degree the next step is similarly you have to construct an angle of 60 degree at point b at this point b you have to construct an angle of 60 degree so same way you can choose any distance so i have taken this distance and you have to draw one arc like this with same distance at this point you have to mark one arc like this so this is angle 60 degree no need to cons 90 degree here so then next you have to join this points so you will get the 60 degree here next step is now bisect angle a and angle b so bisect means what to divide into two equal parts so this angle a you have to bisect so for this you have to keep compass like this and you have to select this distance so this is 90 degree and you have to divide this distance so you have to mark one arc like this from this point and from this point you have to draw one another arc so you will get the 45 degree so this is 45 degree this distance and this is also 45 degree so this is the meaning of bisect then next at point b also you have to bisect this angle 60 degree so to bisect this you have to choose this distance so this is full distance 60 degree so this distance you have to bisect like this this is first arc 
from this point you have to draw one another arc like this and if you join this now you will get the 30 degrees so this distance is 30 degree and this is 30 degree so this is the meaning of bisect next step is let the both bisector meet at point N so these are the two bisectors ray AF and ray B E both bisectors should meet at point N next step that is sixth one draw perpendicular bisector of A N and B N so you have to draw perpendicular bisector of this A N and B N first you have to draw perpendicular bisector of A N so like this so you have to take more than half distance of this two points A N N so you have to mark one arc like this this is the first arc this is the second arc with same distance from point N you have to draw third arc like this and this is the fourth arc then you have to join these points so this is the perpendicular bisector O Z of A N and next from these points you have to draw perpendicular bisector of this B N and you have to select the distance more than half of this B N so you have to mark one arc like this from point B with same distance down also you have to mark one arc like this second this is the second arc and third arc from point N with same distance you have to mark third arc like this and this is the fourth arc then you have to join these two points like this and this is the perpendicular bisector L S of Bn. Main step is join Nx and Nk. So these two points you have to join Nx and Nk. Therefore, this is the required triangle Nxk. Thank you for watching my video. Do like, comment, share, and those who are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.